So hi, hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here again. And of course, we all would love to make videos that look uh, this great, like for example, this rotifer over here with a few ciliates uh, swimming around or this gastro trick. But uh, yeah, uh, reality is not always like that. Um, in many cases, when you put a sample under the microscope, it looks kind of boring and uh, pretty, how shall I say, pretty dead. I and mean, you think that there is really nothing interesting in um, the specimen. I just want to show you a very typical video here. Um, look at this here. This is uh, something that I just recently found and very disappointing, really. Um, yeah, there are lots of, I don't know, yeah, debris um, and uh, not so much movement going on. But as a matter of fact, there is quite a bit of life um, on this slide here. And I'm going to show you how you can make uh, the movement better visible by using time lapse and I'm going to speed up the video 20 times but first I'm going to show you how I collected uh, this sample and then I'm going to speed it up and uh, yeah it's quite surprising of what's going on here so yeah I collected uh, the sample from this little river over here you see the water is a little bit muddy because um, uh, yeah there was some kind of uh, movement going on and kind of this disturbed uh, um, the the mud on the ground so I decided I have to go to a different place uh, to collect uh, something a little bit more interesting and usually you find a lot of life um, yeah, growing in the moss or in algae that can be found growing on the rocks here and uh, this I thought is probably going to be the more interesting uh, place uh, to look uh, for for water life and um, as a matter of fact um, I collected uh, some specimens there just uh, for your interest um, this here is a small water power plant uh, so they're making electricity there um, yeah so this is basically the place um, um, and um, I decided to simply use my my tweezers um, um, to collect um, yeah a few um, a few samples here. Uh, I always take along those uh, plastic containers and I simply scratched off uh, some material, usually from uh, from the place where the um, the water touches uh, the algae and the, and the moss. And put a little sample um, in there um, and uh, added a little bit of water so that it does not uh, dry out. Uh, took it home and uh, put uh, a small drop um, of uh, this uh, sample that you can see over here directly on the microscope slide um, to yeah, hopefully find something interesting. And uh, the disappointment, of course, was big. <laughs> I just showed it to you. Not so much going on. If you look very carefully, there is a little bit of movement going on, um, but, but not so much really. Okay. Um, and uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to speed it up 20 times. Okay. And I'm going to also make myself disappear from the corner so that you have the full, uh, the full video, the full screen. And are you ready for this it's uh, actually quite uh, quite surprising yeah look okay this here is now 20 times faster and look what's going on here yeah there is so much movement uh, the, the several diatoms they like to glide around uh, occasional ciliates can be found as well um, and uh, yeah here they're whizzing through uh, the field of view here so yeah, it's very alive, uh, a very small water sample. Um, there is lots uh, going on here, even though at the beginning it didn't look like it. Yeah, and let's, let's zoom in a little bit more. Yeah, I, by the way, I used a low power um, objective uh, for this uh, to get a wide field of view. And here, even at a higher magnification, we can see that uh, there is uh, still quite a lot going on because now we are also able to see the smaller cells move around. Yeah, so first looks can be deceiving sometimes yeah um so let's uh, do the following i decided then okay let's uh, go up with the magnification way more okay and uh, here here i'm back again <laughs> and uh, i wanted to have a closer look at uh, some of the gliding motions of those diatoms and this is now not in time lapse this is just regular speed and they like to move around and sometimes when they move around they also bump into this uh, yeah, large uh, uh, debris piece and, and they're also pushing that around and, and as well. Yeah, so uh, by, to make a uh, movement and motion visible, um, all you have to do is, is uh, speed up the video or um, to go up with the magnification because then uh, the mo motion and movement also becomes uh, more visible here. Yeah, so yeah, that's basically a little tip that I simply wanted to share with you. Um, so don't be disappointed if uh, the first uh, impression is not very interesting thing because sometimes there is much more going on uh, than you might uh, might think uh, i think i'm just gonna leave it at that, that uh, right now i hope that you again like the video if you did i would like to invite you of course to subscribe to the channel uh, yeah and uh, 
I think uh, there are plenty of things uh, to observe uh, and uh, don't give up. <laughs> but for me, I'm going to say right now, all the best. Uh, happy microbe hunting uh, as always. And, and see you around next time. Bye-bye. Uh,